Ahoy hoy and welcome to SCP Memes, where I go over memes taken from the dank memes from Site19 subreddit. If you want to see credits for all the memes, you can look at the link at the bottom of the description. There'll be a paste bin. Anyway, let's get started. Pattern screamers, when they see pattern. I don't know, I've never read the article. There's not really, well, no, there is one now, but there used to not be an article for it. They just kind of, like, someone just made one. Uh, but, like, the idea behind Pattern Screamers has always been very, very fluid. It could be whatever you want. It could just be people screaming about patterns if you want. Entirely up to you. SCP memes. Wait, it's all Series 1? Always has been. Yeah... That's a problem. I don't know. Is it that big of a problem? You know, now that I'm looking at this. Wait, is that the... I have not... I'm going to look up something. Hold on. Yep, that's the flag of Ohio on that guy's arm. Mm-hmm. Now... <laughs> uh, it's stolen from the... Wait, it's all Ohio meme? Uh, I just was like... I thought maybe the meme had some sort of other original source. But no, I guess it must be from that. Because that's... Dude's wearing a flag of Ohio on his arm. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> more to the actual topic of the meme. <coughs> the, uh, I don't know, see, okay. Series 1 is more memeable because it's less involved. There's plenty of stuff that gets memed from the other article, from the other series too. But, uh, yeah, the less involved something is, I think, the little bit easier it is for people to create memes about it. Memes are always supposed to be about simple, shareable things. It's the reason why... Uh, what's the one, the image only art? I can't remember number. I've never been very good at remembering SCP numbers. Even my own at this point. It's just too many. But um, the one that's just images is uh, probably as popular as it is because it's so easily shareable. Like, you look at it and you immediately know what it is. Anyway, nothing wrong with that. The Cogwork Orthodox Church. Reject modernity. Return to tradition. The Broken Church. I quite like modernity. I see no need to reject it. Church of Maxwellism. Reject modernity. Embrace the future. Sarcasism. Reject humanity. Return to monkey. Yeah. I don't really get the sarcics. I guess they've been turned from... I don't know. Are they still the bad guys? <laughs> I know the Church of Broken God has been redeemed from being mostly bad guys to now being a simple, a very complex and often heroic group. Have the Sarkics gone through that? Uh, uh, what's the word? Gosh, it's 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 difficult to really think about it. Like, what what in fiction is similar that I know of? Uh, where you take, I guess, Loki from the Marvel Universe, from the Marvel Cinematic Universe, where you take something that's a, a villain, a clear villain, and then slowly through steps, as you make it more complex, you turn it into a potential hero. Oh, boy. I finally found it. After 15 years. The Scroll of Truth. Object class isn't that important to the grand scheme of things, and y'all make too big a deal out of it. Nah. Yeah. I've said this before and I'll say it again. Object class doesn't mean a damn thing. People like people like demand that it exists, but it doesn't have to exist. There's no reason for it to. SCP-682 and acid bath. Again, seriously? Scientist, facility guard, another scientist, another facility guard. I mean, if it works, it works. The real question is why they ever take him out. What gives people feelings of power? Money, status, writing a successful cold post. Let me tell you something. Writing a successful, I mean, it may, the first time around, maybe it'll give you that, but I don't really think it does after that. And because uh, it just demonstrates how low the quality standards of the SCP Wiki really are when you get down to it, that you can write something that has no feedback, no community input at all. You just write a thing and dump it on there. Yeah. And most people will be like, maybe, maybe I need to be a little bit more. Maybe that's my problem. I need, I need a bigger ego. So many people will say that's not the problem. I need a bigger ego. I need to look at it and be like, no, 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 no. I'm just so awesome that everything I put up on the wiki is that good. No. 
Uh, Artie Barack is in the house tonight. Please stop praying for my grandpa. You're making him too strong. He broke out of the hospital and the cops can't get him. He's too powerful. That's the origin of the old man, right? People just thoughts and prayers them into uh, into monsterhood. Yeah, yeah, that's a ticket. I actually really, really like this one because it's exactly the, you know, fanaticism is dangerous and destructive. Ignorance is sometimes preferable to the truth. You can't change the world, only keep it alive. Your life is worthless on a global scale and you are disposable. Forget all those messages. Wow. Cool. Humanity protecting spec ops. They've got cool guns. Uh, not to mention the uh, the lessons about like authoritarianism and uh, like the science run rampant in a in a society and all that other stuff. No, 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 no. They've got cool guns. That's the important part. I'm tired of offsite fans hyping up series one articles like there isn't a little decade of other SCPs to choose from. What? But at the same time, it's not fair to discount. Those people who might not have a harder time reading extended narratives, which is why the current trend of shorter digestible articles in series five and six is good to see. We shouldn't also be careful, but we should also be careful not to overcorrect and encourage disliking long things on the basis of being long. The fuck are you talking about? This is actually a pretty good point. Um, but the important part is understanding that the SAP wiki is going to continuously evolve. There may come a time when series one style articles become common and popular again. They just aren't now. <laughs> you just gotta learn to live with it. SCP idea. Me. Object class Apollyon. Me. I mean, I've said it before and I'll say it again. Uh, if your object class is Apollyon, what that means is that you've spent too long thinking about what object class to choose. Oh, right. Is this by the guy? I think this is. Also Cannon Bright, Cannon Bright, also Cannon Bright, Dr. Bright being forced to kill his team by terrorists, Dr. Bright trying to kill Hitler because someone said he couldn't. Yeah. So is this the guy? I think it is the guy. I'll talk about that in a second. Yet another childhood star whose life has been destroyed by Creative Commons 2.0. Excuse me. His life was destroyed by Creative Commons 3.0. Share alike. Attribution. Pay attention. I mean... Okay, I'm going to go dive into this because it's something I actually have opinions about. First of all, that image had to go. That image was stolen from someone else who had a watermark on it and <laughs> and actually cropped the watermark out. This is plagiarism. Plain and simple. When you take an image from somewhere else and then don't mention that you took it from somewhere else, forget the copyright. It's not even about copyright or license. This is about the moral implications, not the legal implications, moral implications of plagiarism, claiming that something is yours or through inaction, allowing other people to believe something is yours when it isn't, period. That... The SCP Wiki has a strong stance against literary plagiarism, but any other kind of plagiarism, they have a much, much softer stance on, and it makes no sense to me, And but they've done a much better job recently, and I'm not going to say, like, it's slow progress, but it's progress. They're getting rid of these stolen images and these plagiarized things. It, well, the problem I have with it is, is that they look at liter when they look see literary plagiarism, they delete the articles. But when they see image plagiarism, they're like, "Hold on a second. They don't even delete the images immediately. Let's find a replacement. Let's make sure the author is okay with it." Like, seriously, the author who plagiarized somebody else's work? Anyway. The current image, though, despite the fact that it needed to be replaced, the current image I said on Twitter, and I'll say it again here, looks like uh, SCP-682 is trying his hand at becoming an Instagram model. That is a very specifically posed image, we'll say. Boy, howdy. I don't know how I'd like it or dislike it. I just think it's a little too professionally done. It doesn't feel like something that you just kind of like, he's... It doesn't feel like he's in motion escaping. It just feels like he's relaxing on a beach somewhere. <laughs> what is SCP-001? Fuck around and find out. 
I guess I'm probably going to have to blank out the F word there because the YouTube algorithm detects it in text way better than it does in speech and also doesn't really care about it in speech past the first 30 seconds. But in but if it's on tech in text on a thing, I'll get demonetized, not demonetized, limited monetization. All right, this is the one. Yeah, this is the other one. Would the seals recognize Carl if his body was in the water? Let me just go over to this because I left it open. Um, let's see here. <laughs> I'm mainly doing this so that if, big if, I get into Sumerian's videos, I can prove it to my friends. I don't really care if people use my means, but I will take the that advice in the future. So let me just look at your, uh, uh, just your Reddit username here. Papa Big Tasty. Well, Papa Big Tasty's friends, he made it. And he made it by making memes about articles that I wrote. <laughs> or one is a tale, one is an article. That's how it works. Sorry. Because, <laughs> like, I was like, I saw this and was like, yeah, would, this, would seals recognize Carl if his body was in the water? I don't know. We'll have to find out. But, um, yeah, made by Jack. Fair enough. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, really? I mean, like, all you have to do to, like, get a good chance of getting in one of these videos is fucking just, uh,. <laughs> Make something with one of my SCPs in it. That's about it. <laughs> it's a good chance. Not an absolute chance anymore. There's a lot of, there's so many of them it becomes a little bit more difficult. But yeah, it's a pretty good chance. Pretty good shot. <laughs> SCP is the strongest, or SCP-682 is the strongest. 3812. I mean, there is no strongest in the SCP universe. First of all, because there is no canon. And second of all, because like, what do you mean by strongest? Can it lift? How much can it bench, bro? I guess that's the last one. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please scroll down and hit the subscribe button. I'm really surprised there were no the rubber memes. I think I'm probably going to do a video on Thursday about why marketing to kids is wrong and what that actually means. I remember in the video I did on, was it Thursday? I saw a lot of people on Twitter saying like, just because, or even on Discord, just because it's animated doesn't mean it's for kids. Well, that ain't what I fucking said. So, feels like maybe you're carrying your own baggage around there. I did mention the animation as part of a whole package. It's what the animation, the music, the voice. I'm, I'm only replying to this right now because it's uh, it's such a strongly uh, desired response. Um, but yeah, the music, the cutesy voice, the cutesy mascot, the animation style, the specific style of animation. And I said that in the video before. Now, like I said, if you think, hey, wait a minute, what are you saying? Animation doesn't mean it's for kids. Then, I, like I said, I think maybe you've got your own baggage to worry about, friends. Anyway, that's it. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the subscribe button and then hit the notification bell after that so you're notified when I upload new videos. And then head on over to patreon.com forward slash dsumerian like everybody here on the screen already has, including Vivi and Dr. J Redacted who have pledged at $100 and Morgan who has pledged at $40. It's nice to know that I'm not alone out here and I'll see you all again on Thursday.